At first glance, this is a regular second-generation Lexus RX. But more observant people will notice that it has a different front bumper with an additional air intake slot and not rectangular, but round fog lights. The trunk lid bears the RX 400H nameplate, and later versions' rear door moldings bear the hybrid inscription. Indeed, this is not quite a simple version, but an RX equipped with Toyota's proprietary hybrid synergy drive hybrid power plant. Its main advantages are low exhaust toxicity, which is not very important for domestic motorists, higher fuel efficiency and excellent dynamics, better than all other RX, and at the level of many charged passenger car models. It was the latter quality that played a key role in the success of sales of these modifications in Ukraine. The level of their equipment was also a nice bonus, the base provided for options that were offered as additional options for the rest of the RX. There are no complaints about the operation of the interior equipment, but there is a quality, the trunk curtain and sliding rear seats knock. 400 were not officially delivered, and all cars operated on domestic roads were sold by gray dealers. The disadvantage of the American versions is poor visibility through the side mirrors with large dead zones, non-aspherical mirrors are used. The power plant is the main difference between the RX 400H and conventional RX crossovers. The 400 uses a proprietary hybrid installation hybrid synergy drive, which combines three motors and a transmission. The main unit is a 3.3-liter gasoline engine borrowed from the RX 330 with a capacity of 214 horsepower. Paired with it are two electric motors, the first, with a capacity of 167 horsepower and a torque of 330 newton meters, rotates the front wheels, the second, 68 horsepower and 130 newton meters, rotates the rear. The total power of the power plant declared by the manufacturer is 272 horsepower. Mathematically, it is impossible to plus the horses of all three motors, since they have the maximum power value at different speeds. In addition, the rear electric motor works according to an individual program. Also, 30% of the energy of a gasoline internal combustion engine is eaten up by a starter generator for charging a nickel metal hydride traction battery. The RX 400H has neither a classic starter nor a generator, as, indeed, a gearbox, and the gasoline unit is started from the front electric motor using a starter generator, which also provides charging of a high voltage traction battery with a capacity of 6.5 ah and a total voltage of 288 V. The role of the gearbox performs a planetary mechanism, which, depending on various situations, mechanically, commands are given by the hybrid synergy drive ECU, distributes the torque from the motors to the front wheels. It also has a built-in reduction gear because the electric motor develops very high speeds, 12,400 RPM. After turning the ignition key, nothing seems to happen, and in the well of the instrument panel, located on the left side, the inscription ready lights up. Step on the accelerator pedal, and the RX 400H starts moving smoothly and silently with the help of the front electric motor. Press a little harder, the rear motor comes to the rescue. If you push the gas pedal to the floor, the gasoline unit immediately starts up, and the 400, driven by three engines, pressing riders into their seats, rushes forward. The dynamics of the crossover is 7.6s to hundreds, which is even better than the flagship RX 350, 7.8s. Moreover, thanks to the planetary acceleration occurs smoothly and with an even increase in speed, without any jerks and jerks inherent in traditional transmissions. When braking, the electric motor switch to generator mode, recuperating energy which goes to recharge the traction battery. When the car slows down and stops, the gasoline unit turns off, and when driving for a long time in city traffic jams, when the energy reserve of the starting battery runs out, the gasoline engine automatically starts to recharge it. Four-wheel drive is independent, unlike the rest of the RX with the cardan shaft and a lockable center viscous coupling. The algorithm of its work is designed more for powerful and dynamic starts on asphalt than for off-road. So, when driving through a problem area, the front electric motor may not always be enough, and the rear one cannot help it, it is frankly weak, and when a gasoline unit is connected, the front wheels quickly burrow due to the high torque. In terms of cross-country ability, the RX 400H is noticeably inferior to the rest of the RX modifications and is able to fold in a situation that is harmless for crossovers. The main condition for the long-term operation of the hybrid installation is regular driving, so that the processes of discharging slash charging the traction battery occur constantly. With long, more than one month, 
downtime of hybrid cars, the nickel metal hydride battery can be completely discharged, and then it is almost impossible to revive. Specialists capable of doing this in Ukraine can be counted on the fingers. A new battery costs about UAH 25,000. With rare use, the seals of the axle shafts lose their tightness. Oil also often oozes from under the front cover of the transfer case, this is a factory defect of the 400. To eliminate leaks, you have to remove the gearbox. Left fuel can disable the damper coupling dampers of torsional vibrations, spare part, 10,500 UAH. It is installed between the gasoline unit and the planetary, and serves for a smooth transmission of torque during the connection slash deactivation of the gasoline engine. Experts advise cleaning radiators every 50 to 60,000 kilometers. Contaminated cells can cause overheating of the gasoline engine, as well as the inverter, DC converter 650V, 288V, 12V, and disable it. The inverter has a separate cooling circuit. There are no serious complaints about the 3.3 liter engine either. The variable valve timing system VVT and individual ignition coils serve without problems. The timing is equipped with a belt, which is changed along with the rollers every 120,000 km. The nozzles and throttle are cleaned every 40 to 50,000 km, and candles with iridium electrode tips last up to 80,000 km. The fuel filter will last a very long time, but its replacement is laborious, it is necessary to dismantle the tank. Failures of electric motors and other units of the hybrid installation were not recalled by domestic experts. Problem areas of the car. When performing service work, it is imperative to disconnect the high-voltage battery by pulling out a special pin under the rear seat. The high-voltage wires of the hybrid installation are hidden in an orange-colored braid to warn of danger. The weak point of the RX400H suspensions is the stabilizer bushings, 30 to 50,000 kilometers. All other parts can last 100 to 200,000 kilometers. When replacing pads, lubricate the caliper guides. Without this, they wedged, and then fail. Most of the consumables of the front and rear suspension are changed along with the levers and rods. The exception is the interchangeable ball front levers. Unlike the rest of the RX, equipped with a hydraulic booster, the 400 is equipped with an electric booster. Although the mechanics have no complaints about this node, and the tie rods will last a long time, up to 100,000 kilometers. The brakes are also electrified, they are electrohydraulic here. It is necessary to lubricate the caliper guides regularly when replacing the pads. Otherwise, they begin to wedge, which causes uneven pad wear. In the end, you will have to change the guides. Suspension, 400, independent, like other versions of the RX. Front, type McPherson, rear, passively thruster, multi-link. The chassis is tuned for a comfortable ride, it copes well with road irregularities, but during sharp maneuvers, the crossover rolls on pleasantly, and in corners it squeaks early with tires, sliding from a given trajectory. The chassis is quite durable. More often you will have to change the stabilizer bushings, rear, every 30,000 km, front, 50,000 km, racks will last up to 100,000 km. In the front suspension, about 100,000 km. The rear silent blocks of the front levers and strut support bearings serve, and the ball ones up to 200,000 km. In the rear suspension, about 100,000 km, the usual gum of the rear links are kept, and the floating silent blocks will last up to 200,000 km. However, during the scheduled repair of the suspension, you will have to fork out all the silent blocks of the rear rods and the gum of the front levers change as an assembly. Domestic experience of driving RX400H hybrids has shown that there are no serious complaints about them. A complex power plant, subject to operating standards, serves reliably. Unlike standalone hybrids like the Toyota Prius, the 400 has almost all of the same body parts as the rest of the RX, making it easy to find the parts you need. However, there are difficulties with maintenance, it will be taken up only at specialized service stations. Since the 400 is much smaller than the other modifications of the RX, all of their copies are well known to the employees of special stations. The only problem is that they tell the future owners the whole truth.